What's up everyone? Many of us might have dealt with a mold problem or at least heard about it. This type of fungus, if left unchecked, can significantly damage a house. Furthermore, mold also makes the entire household vulnerable to certain health issues. Knowing about the types of mold in homes and the proper ways to get rid of them can allow your household to live a healthier life. When looking to learn more about the types of mold in homes, it can seem confusing. We are here to provide you with the information you need to take the next step. If you want more information on this topic, check out the links in the description below. If we missed something, please let us know in the comments. Now let's get down to business. Here are some specific and common types of household molds you should be aware of. Each of these belongs to one or more of the following categories, allergenic, pathogenic, or toxigenic. First up is Acrimonium. During the initial stages, it appears as a small, moist mold. You might notice it as gray, pink, orange, or white as well. However, with time, it transforms to resemble a fine, powdery substance. This type can easily grow in any environment with condensation. You will typically see it on cooling coils, window sealants, drain pans, and humidifiers. Beware, because this kind of mold is very toxigenic and pathogenic. You need to get rid of it as soon as possible to ensure the safety of your household. The next type on our list is Aspergillus. It has more than 185 species. This kind appears yellow-green. Similar to other types, this one too prefers spaces that are warm, dark, and damp. You will find it on damp walls, PVC or paper wall coverings, carpet dust, acrylic paint, leather, wallpaper, shoes, unclean filters, and decomposing wood. Some of the species of this kind are toxigenic. They produce carcinogens. Most of them cause allergies. Having it around the house means more cases of asthma attacks, respiratory inflammation, and lung infections. Another common type is Areobacidium. This mold is highly contagious. You can quickly experience an eye, skin, or nail infection from this mold on contact. That is why it is essential you don't touch it with bare skin. It also gives rise to skin rashes or dermatitis. This type is usually pink in color. It can also be brown or black. Upon maturity, it takes up a dark brown color. While a variety of molds prefer an organic food source, Areobacidium can thrive on inorganic nutrition too. In fact, it can eat glue, which is the reason it can grow on painted walls or behind wallpaper. Indoors, you'll find it on the carpet, floor window frames, and wet wood. We can't leave without talking about mucor. This appears white or gray. Take note that this type of mold can grow very quickly. It forms thick patches which can be challenging to get rid of if you don't know the proper procedure. You will generally find mucor near or inside ducts, HVAC systems, and on window air conditioning units. It is also found in thick and damp places such as dirty carpets and mats. This type of mold causes respiratory issues in humans. Symptoms of a mucor infection are flu-like. Prolonged exposure to such mold can give rise to a fungal infection called mucormycosis. Lastly, be sure to remember penicillin. This is regarded as the most recognizable mold. It does save a lot of lives, but it is also dangerous. You will notice it has a blue or greenish appearance with a velvet-like texture. It appears in water-damaged buildings as well as materials. The mold that grows on bread is a type of penicillin. You will see it in unkempt carpets, ductwork, wallpaper, and yes, even mattresses. This type of mold is easy to get rid of if you can catch it before it grows too much. And that's it! Hopefully this video on the 5 types of mold in homes has helped you out. If it did, let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out the links in the description for more information. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to keep up on our latest videos. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.